bacon, 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 bacon with a bulldog. A bacon with a bulldog. Bacon, 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 bacon with a bulldog. We're bacon with a bulldog. Hi, I'm Bobby, and this is Tyson, and we are baking with a bulldog. Today, what are we gonna make today, Tyson? We are working on eggs. We're making creamy Dijon deviled eggs, and these are delicious eggs. They are um, more, they're like a deviled egg, a traditional deviled egg, but we use cream cheese in the base that makes them really creamy. The texture is really nice. And the Dijon mustard is a really nice flavor to add to the egg too. Yes, you love eggs. You could probably eat all of these yourself. So what we're gonna do, um, since we are baking with a bulldog, we're not boiling with a bulldog, we're not going to hard boil the eggs. We are going to bake them. And this is super easy. And what I found is that the yolks tend to come out more yellow than green when you put them in the oven. Uh, so that's a nice thing too, because we want our eggs to look nice, don't we, Tyson? We do. Okay, so let's get our muffin pan. All right, and what we're going to do we're just gonna make six. I have a little holder that holds 12 halves, so um, you can always make more. The recipe is set up to make six eggs. Just double it if you wanna make a dozen. Also, let's see. This is a very easy part. All I did was line this pan with cupcake liners and then put the eggs inside. The oven is preheated to 350 degrees. We're gonna put the eggs in there for 30 minutes. Uh, when they're done, we're gonna put them immediately into an ice bath. So for right now, let me put the eggs in the oven. And we're gonna make our ice bath, right? Yeah, you like this. All right, so we have a big bowl where I filled it about halfway with ice. And then we're gonna take our water And we're just gonna leave about two or three inches up at the top. And that'll be ready to put our eggs in. So our eggs have been cooking for 30 minutes. We're gonna take them out of the oven and put them in the ice bath. All right, look, they look good, Ty. Don't touch the pan, it's hot. All right, so putting the eggs into the ice bath without getting the pan near the bulldog. This is fun. Okay. All right, we're gonna let those sit in the ice bath for 15 minutes. We'll come back in a second when we're ready to go on. Okay, our eggs should be all nice and cool now. It's been 15 minutes. We're going to take them out of the ice bath and just let them sit on this towel to dry off a little bit. There's two. <laughs> yeah, you're being very helpful today. You'll notice that Tyson is wearing a special collar today. We're making these deviled eggs for Easter. Yes, you could show your bow tie? Yes. So Tyson's wearing a special outfit for the holiday. Uh, seems to have lost an egg. There we go. So when you're ready to start preparing your deviled eggs, get them out of the fridge, and then you can do what Tyson and I have been doing here. We've been peeling eggs. So um, take your egg. I just roll it a little bit on my cutting board to get it started and then just start picking off the shell. And I know there's, you know, people have their own ways of doing things. You don't have to do it the way I do it. Um, I know that there are a lot of people who like to do this under running water. That does help to get all the little shell pieces away. Um, I don't like to waste too much water, <laughs> so I, I'd rather do it this way and just kind of do some cleanup on the back end. So this one is actually coming off pretty nicely. And what's under the, uh, the shell itself is a little membrane, and if you can kind of work on removing the shell based on where the membrane is, it helps a lot. All right, so all of our eggs are peeled and we're gonna start putting together our deviled eggs. Um, I have a dish here that holds 12 halves. You don't have to use something like this, but um, it's just nice to have these out for special occasions. Yes, Tyson, and you love a special occasion. I'm gonna put that right there for now. I'm going to take one of my eggs. All right. And what I need is this little bowl and a little spoon and a sharp knife. All right, so take a look at the egg and see how I was saying before that you get some divots and parts of the egg sometimes. You want that to be facing down. So split this egg in half. And like I said, the yolk gets nice and yellow on these. 
Yep. You're starting to go a little bit crazy, aren't you? Yep. So let's get all the yolk out into our little side bowl and we'll arrange them on our dish. All right, so all of our eggs have been halved. We've taken out the yolks and put them in this bowl. So let's take a look at the rest of our ingredients. We are going to need four ounces of cream cheese. That's half a block. Uh, just cut it into pieces and let it sit while you're making the rest of the recipe and it'll be nice and soft and ready to go. Uh, we also are going to need some smoked paprika and just a sprinkle on top of our eggs. And then I have an eighth of a teaspoon of thyme, the thyme leaves, not the ground thyme, and then one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Also want to have a little splash of milk available. We might not need it. Um, we use that once we blend everything together. If it's a little bit dry, the milk will help. And then I like to top these with either pecan half or walnut half. So I have 12 of those ready. You can also put um, some bacon bits on top. You could put a mushroom slice on top, anything you want to do. We're all about adaptable recipes, aren't we, Tyson? We like being adaptable. So, you know, do what you would like and, um, you know, to your own taste. So now we have our cream cheese. We're going to take our egg yolks, put them in here. All right, and our thyme and our mustard. Now you notice my Dijon mustard has green peppercorns in there, which I love. Uh, you don't have to use that. In fact, you can use any kind of Dijon mustard, or if you want to use just regular mustard, you can do that too. Actually, the inspiration for this recipe uh, was uh, a devil egg that I had out in a restaurant in San Francisco. They had mustard and mascarpone cheese. And when I came back and tried to emulate that, I thought it might taste better with Dijon. And so I did that and I did like it a lot better. Um, and then use cream cheese, which was a lot, you know, for one, easier to get <laughs> and uh, also really easy to work with. So we have our egg yolks, our cheese and our spice and our mustard. I'm just going to start to mush them together here. And like I said, if it starts to look a little bit dry, you can add just a splash of milk. Maybe two splashes in this case. Now once you have this mixed, you can spoon it into the egg halves or you can use either a cookie press or a decorating bag to put them into the egg halves and make them look really pretty. So we're going to come back in a second when I have that decorating bag ready to go. So Tyson, what are we doing now? <laughs> we're getting ready to decorate our eggs. Um, before we do that, I just want to show you something because uh, it took me a while to put together my mixture. I am um, doing it by hand. It's, it's you just got to make sure you keep smushing up the egg yolks and mixing them in with the cream cheese and just make sure all the flavors go all the way through. And the texture you get is like this. It's almost like a whipped cream cheese uh, or maybe like a frosting kind of texture or a little bit heavier than a frosting. But um, you want it to be uh, pliable enough that you'll be able to use it in your decorating bag if that's what you're going to do. So the other thing you can do, if you don't have a pastry bag, you can just take a uh, teaspoon or two teaspoons and just put a little dollop in each of these halves and that'll work fine too. But for now, we are going to decorate tie. So I'm going to put that into my decorating bag and this is where things start to get nice and messy. <laughs> I'm going to squish all the mixture down to the bottom. Let's make sure I can get that out. All right. So I just did a little bit of cleanup, <laughs> but now we can start decorating our eggs. So just twist the top of your bag. Make sure your mixture starts to go through the bottom. Look at that, Ty. That's <laughs> not too pretty. Here, let's just try doing straight. What's fun with these is that they, I mean, they don't have to be perfect. You can see this egg was a little bit weird. It has a double yolk going on down there. When I made these for the uh, recipe posting on our website, 
I actually decorate a little bit nicer than this. It's going to look good no matter what you do, just because it's a really simple recipe. Now, sometimes I use a different tip when I decorate. It's funny, these are look a little bit more almost like spaghetti. <laughs> so, let's see. Not perfect, not by any means, but that's okay. They are delicious and everyone's going to love eating them. So I have a little bit of leftover. Um, don't get rid of this. This is actually really good on sandwiches, right Tyson? Yes, he's starting to be distracted. Um, just with a ham, turkey, anything, this is really a nice spread that you can just put on your food. And next steps, we have our smoked paprika. Just going to sprinkle it around the dish. And now what I'm doing is just putting a walnut half on each of the eggs. And you can see why when I was saying that my decorating didn't need to be perfect. It really didn't because the walnut just sits on top and it looks really good. Right? Oh, you really want one of these, don't you? You're not getting one. These aren't for bulldogs. These are definitely not for bulldogs. All right. All right, and that's all it is. We are done, Tyson. This is a pretty easy recipe to make. Just as long as you prepare your eggs ahead of time, you're all set. So here we are, beautiful 12 half eggs, creamy Dijon deviled eggs for you to enjoy. Um, make sure you store them in the fridge and go bake something great. Thanks for watching.